The man who was shot by Michigan State Police during a standoff Saturday night died today. Michael Sandlin has been gathering details into what exactly happened. Mike, what do we know about this man? Melissa, at this time, we know that he is was 61 years old and that Michigan State Police arrived at his home Saturday night responding to a domestic dispute. We've also learned reportedly he had a handgun that night and was firing it multiple times inside his home. Now, I spoke to a neighbor who didn't want to go on camera. He tells me that the man was in the midst of a messy divorce. The neighbor says he had seen sheriff's deputies at the home at least four times since last October. However, the neighbor told me he never expected it to evolve to the level of violence seen Saturday night. Michigan State Police say as the shooting started inside, officers and sheriff's deputies surrounded the property. When the 61-year-old came out, he reportedly pointed a weapon at the officers and was shot multiple times from an officer's service rifle. He later died from his wounds. Now, the trooper who pulled the trigger has not yet been named by Michigan State Police. He has five years of service and has been placed on leave per departmental policy. The investigation is still pending autopsy results, further investigation, and autopsy review. Now, to get a better idea of what happened in this case, I've reached out to MSP to get body camera and a full UI report. I'll give you that information as soon as we receive it. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Michael Sandlin from WTOL 11.